We sailed into port just after noon, but we were not the first ship in port. MSC, Disney, and Royal Caribbean all had ships docked in port already. Both the Escape and the Anthem of the Seas are about the same size and were the biggest ships in port. Getting off the ship, it was time to have some fun in Nassau. I do think that the Escape's hull art stands out above and beyond any ship that was in port. Guy Harvey really did a nice job. Since we were docked right next to the Anthem of the Seas, we were able to get a good look at it. Since our ship was so big, we docked on the last pier and had a long walk to get off the pier. There's our ship. By the time we got to the cruise terminal, the Carnival Sensation had pulled in. That made five ships in port that day. Just outside of the cruise terminal, they make you walk by a bunch of vendors before you get into town. I imagine they charge more for their souvenirs than you might otherwise find elsewhere in town. Explain to me what we have across the street. Well, that's the Parliament Building where they have the House of Assembly. Okay. Parliament Excellent. Can we walk across yet? Mm. Okay, thank you. Just off of Bay Street, we checked out the buildings in Parliament Square. 
Queen Victoria statue, which was erected in 1905, is just in front of the Senate building. Angela wanted to take a horse and buggy ride, but I convinced her that we didn't have time. Besides, I really didn't want to smell the horse dropping bag for more than I had to. Now it was time to do some shopping, but not much. Since we've been there several times, there's not much we were in the market for, except a good time. On our way to our ultimate destination, we had to check out the action at Senior Frogs. Senior Frogs is a popular stop for cruise ship passengers. Where's the party? Where's the party? Yeah. All right. Good job, guys. They have a very nice location and it's a lot of fun, but if you spend too much time there, you can empty your wallet pretty fast. It wasn't very lively when we walked through there. I've seen it crazier in the past. Again, we've been there, done that, so after taking a quick walk through, it was on to our next stop, which was Junkanoo Beach. Junkanoo Beach is just a short walk from the cruise ship docks and has a very nice beach and several places to eat and drink. It also has public bathroom facilities and changing rooms. Whenever we are in NASA, we always spend time at Kyla's Island Philosophy, which is the last hut on the beach, but it's well worth the walk. We've been coming to Kyla's Island Philosophy for years, and we always have a good time. From that part of Junkanoo Beach, you really get a nice view of all the ships docked in port. Unfortunately, Kyla was not there that day. We had emailed her telling her that we were going to be in port, but never heard back from her. I just assumed she was going to be there. Thank you. That was not a problem because her other employees took really good care of us. Maybe even too good. I highly recommend stopping by Kyla's Island Philosophy for a drink or two when you're in port.
Isla's Island Philosophy. Unfortunately, Isla's not here. We let her know we were coming down, but we let her know we were coming, but uh, she didn't reply, so we assume she's going to be here. After we had a few drinks and some good times, we headed back to the ship where we had an interview schedule with the ship's cruise director, Julie. Here we are in the escape, Norwegian escape, with our cruise director, Julie. And uh, she's volunteered to answer a few questions for us that you cruisers would like to know about. So the first question I have for you is, what sets the Escape apart from any other NGL ship or any other ship in any other industry? Well, it's the newest ship that we've been in the world at the moment. So it's very exciting that all the technology that we have on board, as well as the branded entertainment that we have, is pretty phenomenal here. We have Broadway shows, like the Dollar Point Tavern after midnight. We have everything from touch screens where you can book restaurant reservations to shows to ordering flowers and all the fun stuff. Excellent. You do the same job every week. What is your favorite part of your job? Well, the job, although it appears to be the same way, two, and no two weeks are ever the same. But uh, I, I guess hosting the events on the front lines, that's the, the best part of the job. Interacting with the guests is the fun stuff. So what is your favorite event to host? A favorite event to host? Probably uh, Ultimate Dance Clash. Usually that's always a, a hit. And also uh, the Globe Party. The Globe Party, yeah. Party. Those that, are the best. That's a really good one. Yes. It, that's unique to NCL, isn't it? Yes. And no other cruise ship has that. Not that I know of. Um, yeah, that's a few a, in our company do. In your opinion, what is the one activity that everyone should do on board the ship? Definitely go to all the parties. It's great for the all party. ages. Spice H2O is a very cool venue. And we can put up music videos. We can take it back to the 80s. We can take it to the, the flow events. Um, and definitely see the shows. It's it all was. about the shows. There's so many different theaters, so many different choices when it comes to entertainment, and so many different styles of entertainment as well. You know, we went to the uh, Brat Pack. That was one of my favorites. That oh, was an awesome. outstanding show. How they interact with the people and yes. everything. That was really unique. I've never seen it on any other cruise show. It's amazing. It's dinner, it's a show, and it's all the music of the 80s. And we got to meet the people afterwards. Of course. And that, that we had photo ops and everything. That was wonderful. Nice touch. And it was really, it was really, a great show. I recommend that highly. Definitely. That was one of my favorite shows of the whole ship. Is there any one restaurant that, on board ship that you would recommend? There's so many different dining options. It's hard to pick just one that's the best. But uh, one of the hidden gems, I would say, is the Food Republic. You have four restaurants all in one. And you can order an, on an iPad and you can pick and choose whatever it is that you like. You can try little bites of everything. It's really flavorful. Please explain to me the freestyle dining. I've been told that 25% is reserved for reservations and 75% is for people that walk on into the restaurants. Is well, that true? Freestyle dining is a choice. You mm -hmm. can eat where you want, when you want, with whomever you like. And the thing is, you're no longer tied down to sitting at the same table every night with the same people in the same restaurant. If you're not hungry at 6 o'clock, you shouldn't have to eat at 6 o'clock, right? Right. Or if you are hungry at 6, you can be able to eat as well. And if you want to meet other people, you can sit with others. If you choose to dine only with your party, you can do that. So really, it's all about choice and choosing the type of food and the time. I tried to make reservations, but they said that all the reservations were taken for one of the restaurants. And, but is it true that you could still go to the restaurant? And there's always walking. There's, there's always, always walking. Yeah, there's walking. Do you have a favorite port? Do I have a favorite port? On this particular mm -hmm. itinerary? Mm -hmm. Oh, they're all very nice, aren't they? Nassau is an exciting place. There's yes, a lot it is. to do there. Yes, it is. St. Thomas is also beautiful. They're both two of the most popular right, cruise ship right. down here. So you can get along really. And Tortola's got the baths and Virgin Gorda, and it's also a beautiful 
locations. So I can't really pick a specific. Tortola is also expanding their port, aren't they? Well, it's uh, it's got several facets, right? There's a little downtown area that is expanding, and then of course there's when you go to the other side, that's where the true natural beauty is. NCO has several excursions uh, at various ports. What excursion would you recommend that somebody has to take? Virgin the the, the, the must the one. one, the must the baths at Virgin yeah, Gorda. It's absolutely yeah. one of the most beautiful tours you can experience. That is very beautiful. It's an early start, but worth it. Is it crowded with the with the cruise ship? Um, well, you can take a ferry over to the other yeah. side here, and it's absolutely just a perfect day. And what would you like people to know about Norwegian Escape in your own opinion? Well, of course, being a cruise director, I'm always telling people about the shows because that is the most exciting part. The entertainment, the activities, the shows, but of course the dining. And the show itself is amazing. There's a little bit of something for everyone, from a gorgeous spa that we have all the way at the front of the ship, with the snow room and the 50 treatments. They've got the aqua park outside and the ropes course with two planks. So there's something for all ages, a brand new Splash Academy, a nursery facility that we've never had before, and now we're taking babies as young as six months into the program, so we're giving even more options for the kids. Excellent. That's great for families. Definitely. Is there any one show, if you, if you had to pick one show, whether it be in the theater or the uh, supper club, what one show, if, if somebody had to pick one show that they had to see, what I'd say see them all, because you've got the opportunity yeah. to see them all, because they're outstanding. After Midnight is direct from Broadway with the Broadway star on board the ship at the moment, Brenda Braxton. Yes. We also have her own cabaret, which is very unique. We've got For the Record, the Brad Pack, which you loved, which is our yes. dinner show. Yes. We've got Million Dollar Quartet, and we've got comedians from the Levity Entertainment Group doing several shows, and I think if you miss any of them, you're going to miss out on a great piece of your week. Is there anything you'd like to tell our, our future cruisers about this ship? I say just come and see us. you got to see it and experience it yourself. We're waiting for you here. It's a great ship, and we look forward to seeing you on board this ship. Thank you very Thank much, you Julie. Thank you very much.